Hello and welcome. Today we're going to go through some more things to help you in your exams. This video comes under the umbrella of exam tips. I've already done a couple of videos on exam tips and I can, I think about, I think I might create a playlist called exam tips and place them all in there. Now this is for IGCSE, ICT at Excel, but it's also applicable to many other things as well because you will see these command words that I'm going to show you in a moment in many of your exams. So what is a command word? Well, it's words that are used in external assessment, which are exams. We've got words like amend, analyze, assess, and we're going to look at some examples now of where we see them in exam questions and what exactly the examiner is expecting us to do. So we're going to choose a couple of examples there and go through them with you. So here's a classic kind of question we've got here. 1G from the 2019 paper. The smartphone uses application software. Describe the purpose of application software. So let's have a look at the taxonomy. What does describe mean? It means give an account of something. Statements in the response need to be developed as they are often linked, but do not need to include justification or reason. So I'm merely describing I'm not kind of giving any reasons behind, I'm just describing the purpose of application software. So another thing I'm linking to in the description is this glossary of terms. And there's over, I think there's 13 pages to this. And it's all the words that you might need to learn in the exam. Now, one thing I recommend doing with this that I've seen students do really well is take these glossaries of term, take these words and these definitions and create flashcards with them. So if we look on here, we've got application, a program that allows a user to perform a task. Applications are often called apps. So that's going to help me write my response here. So here's a response to that, that question there. A program designed so that the user can carry out a particular task. Now, does that fit the bill for describe? Give an account of something. Uh, we do not need to include justification or reasons. So that is two marks. So obviously the writing, when I type it, that looks slightly smaller. And if you were handwriting that in your exam, you'd probably go into two sentences. So for this answer, I would get two marks because I've got a program designed so that the user, one mark, can carry out a particular task, two marks. If you want to add examples there, like, for example, write a letter, send an email, create a spreadsheet, then you can do. But I reckon I've got my two marks with just that sentence there. But bear in mind, though, that in your exam, that would look slightly longer and that would probably go into two sentences with the handwriting. So that is describe. Give an account of something. And I don't need to write any reasons or kind of justification behind that because that fulfills the brief of the describe question. Okay, so now let's look at the explain question for two marks. So if we scroll down, we can see what explain means. And it says, an explanation requires a justification, exemplification of a point. The answer must contain some element of reason justification. Okay, and there's a bit more there that you can read. The mark scheme should be clearly laid out. So to gain four marks, there must be a minimum of one mark for some element of reasoning Justification should satisfy the definition of explain. So explain fits nicely with things like um, benefits, drawbacks type questions. So what are the benefits of using solid state storage with a smartphone? So we're thinking of things like um, smartphones are portable, they get knocked about a bit, solid state is stronger, low moving parts, it's going to be quieter, it takes up less space. Those are the kinds of things what we're looking for here. So here's my answer. Smartphones are portable. Solid state storage is useful because they tend to be lighter, smaller, take up less space, have no moving parts, so are more robust. Now that is my answer for that. And does that meet the requirements of explain? Justification, exemplification of a point. I think I've got a justification there. Smartphones are portable. Therefore, solid state is useful because, here's my justification, solid state tends to be Solid state drives tend to be lighter, smaller, take up less space, no moving parts, are more robust. 
which fulfills the brief of being more portable because they're less likely to get damaged, they're smaller, they're lighter, which is all the things we need for a portable storage device. Let's look at another described question. This is one that students often get wrong. What is a router? Describing the actual function of your router. And if you watch my video on exam tips, you'll see that the examiner noticed that a lot of students didn't really understand what a router was. So let's correct that now. Let's answer this question. I need to describe. So it's just going to be basically saying what exactly it does, what its functions are. There's no explanation. There's no justification needed. Right. I've written a lot here and I've gone way beyond two marks, but just to make it clear what a router does, because a lot of students get this wrong. It stores IP addresses. It reads the packet header. So remember, data is split into packets to go through the packet switch network. So each packet is part of the data that's been broken up. The packet contains a header with the recipient's address and details on it and the order in which they've been split up. So it takes the recipient's address and forwards the data onto the correct address using the most efficient route. So it's forwarding data to the correct address. A router forwards data to the correct address. Now that fulfills the requirements for describe because we're not justifying, we're not justifying why we have routers, we're just explaining, we're just describing, sorry, we're describing what a router is. Now let's look at this question. State. State two benefits to Zara of online TV. What does state mean? It means to recall one or more pieces of technical information. So it's kind of like describe. We're just kind of recalling and writing down technical information. So what are the benefits? Stating the benefits of online TV. There's no justification there of online TV versus other mediums were just stating the benefits. Now there is loads you could write here, but I've just focused on two. R wide variety of content. So online TV can have hundreds and hundreds of channels. Can pause, fast forward and rewind. Other things you could have is interactive. Uh, other things, if you're based in the UK or you're based in a country that has a TV license, you could say you could save money on a TV license by not buying a TV license if you're just watching it online. Suggestions for shows can be made. You can record series. Anything like that. And that is, that covers state. And that is how we state, we write an answer to a state type question. Now, that finishes the video and I'd like to say thank you again for watching this video. Thank you to all the subscribers. Please, 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 if you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button. And also, I'd really appreciate if you hit the like, if it really helped you. Again, I'm linking in the description to two documents that's going to help you with this. To my Dropbox, the taxonomy and the glossary of terms that hopefully are going to help you with these questions. Now, what I'd recommend with the glossary of terms is that you use this, maybe don't sit down and try and, try and memorize them all, perhaps use them um, to create flashcards, but remember that these are all things that you need to learn for your exam. Okay, so if there's something that you don't understand, you don't understand what a cipher is, there's your definition. And the taxonomy is going to help you because it's going to help you think about how you create your responses to the exam questions and what the examiner is expecting to see. So thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.